how to drop ship from AliExpress to Wix, a full step-by-step -step beginner's guide coming right up. So if you wanted to start a dropshipping business and Wix is a selling channel that you have been thinking of, do not miss this video because I will take you step-by-step -step and show you how to do it the right way so that you will see success. Wix to AliExpress dropshipping, quick intro and let's go. Welcome back. For those of you who do not know me, I am Liran from AutoDS. And in this video, you're going to learn how to start a dropshipping business on Wix as your selling channel using AliExpress as your supplier. So if you're a beginner, you haven't started dropshipping yet, and you need to learn the ropes and do it the right way, don't miss this video. And everything that I'm going over in this video, you can also read about it in the full blog article version, which I will leave a link to right below this video. Now, that being said, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always stay updated and learn how to take the next step in your e-commerce business. Having said that, like and share this video if you appreciate the value. And now let's jump straight into the action. How to drop ship from AliExpress to Wix. So for those of you who are really at your first steps, how does AliExpress to Wix dropshipping work? And how does dropshipping work in the first place? So first you have your dropshipping store. In this case, we are creating a store on Wix. Then you have your supplier and your supplier is where you're actually getting the products from to list on your Wix store. You don't have to hold any of these products in stock and you don't have any upfront investment since creating an account on Wix is free and creating a buyer account on AliExpress is also free. So you're starting off with no expenses and they'll only start to come later on, especially once you'll start to make sales and profit, which makes dropshipping a low risk and high reward business model to acquire. So you have your dropshipping store on Wix, you have your supplier where you're dropshipping their items and selling them on your store, and then you have the customer. So what happens first is the customer makes an order on your store on one of the products that you listed from your supplier from AliExpress. And then what you do as the seller, as the dropshipper, is you go to AliExpress, you purchase that product and you ship it directly to the customer's address without seeing the product yourself. That is the dropshipping business model. It's been working for a long time now and it's only growing every year. It's not going anywhere and it is definitely not too late to take a piece of this cake. Now let's talk a minute about AliExpress. AliExpress is a huge, huge, Chinese marketplace with warehouses not only in China but also in different countries around the world they now have warehouses and they're expanding more and more every year the reason that you want to have warehouses in more than one location is because you want to be able to ship your products quickly and for those of you who have experienced drop shipping from China you know that it can take anywhere between two to four weeks and even more in some cases for the product to reach its customer from the supplier and that is not a good thing we don't want our customers to wait two weeks three weeks one month to get their items, they're not going to be very happy with the purchase and they most likely will not return to purchase from your store again. However, if you were able to ship it within a week, your buyers will be happy. And this is a reason why you want to have warehouses in more than one region in the world. So for example, if you know that AliExpress has warehouses in the United Kingdom and you're also targeting the United Kingdom, you're trying to sell to them, then you will be able to ship quickly from into the UK and keep it domestic. So AliExpress has warehouses all over the world, even though most of them are still in China. And AliExpress this is not just one store. It is a marketplace, just like eBay, where you have thousands of sellers who are selling their products on that marketplace, on that platform. And you can either see one product listing that they have when you're searching for something, or you can go inside their whole store and see everything that they have to offer. So that is AliExpress. And most of the products there are simply being drop shipped to you from other Chinese stores that you don't have access to. So you have the Chinese agent in the middle who knows English, created a store on AliExpress, and he is just drop shipping those items to you just as you are drop shipping your items to your buyer. And that is completely fine. The prices there are still significantly low. Everything there is still very cheap because it is being manufactured in China and there's a lot of competition there. And we all know that products from China are cheaper than most other places around the world like Japan, Taiwan, the United States, Europe, and other manufacturers around the world. So with a vast product catalog, millions of products for you to resell and a very dropshipping friendly supplier, it is easy to start with suppliers like AliExpress. You can reach out to the seller, you can see who they are, AliExpress offers buyer and seller protection. So if anything goes wrong with your order, you know that AliExpress has your back. You can also easily analyze their sellers and see how well they are doing if they're selling high quality products so that you will be able to import high quality products to your store and not have too many replaces or returns. And you can reach out to the sellers, communicate with them, 
get great customer service that you will also be able to pass on to your customers. So there's many advantages of why you want to start dropshipping from AliExpress and learn your way up from there. So those are some of the reasons why AliExpress is a great supplier to start off with. Now let's talk for a minute about Wix. There are many selling channels out there and you can have a store on Shopify, you can have a store on eBay, you can have a store on Facebook Marketplace if you live in the US, you can have a store on WooCommerce, you can have a store in many, many places and each one has their pros and their cons. Wix is a great platform that comes at a very, very low cost. It's free to start with in the beginning, but once you wanna start doing more premium things like having your own domain name, which costs an average of $20 a month, which isn't so expensive. What I love about Wix is that it is a completely customizable website that you can build from the ground up, even if you don't have any technical skills, even if you've never coded a website before or even designed one at that, you can still create a very professional looking store, a very good looking website and start selling your products from there, whatever you're getting from AliExpress and we'll also go over product research soon so you'll know how to get the right products to sell on your store and be able to target the right audience so that you will make sales and profit. So once again, Wix is a fully customizable website. They have easy to use templates. So once again, you do not need to have any coding skills. They have a very accessible and user-friendly interface. I will show you everything soon. And once again, they are very dropshipping friendly, just like AliExpress. They're looking for dropshippers. They love the dropshipping business model. They see that it works and there is always room for more. So with a minimum initial investment, no selling limits, meaning you can sell thousands of products on your store on day one, list them all, and no one is going to tell you, hey, you're, you're selling way too many products from the start. And for those of you who have drop shipped on eBay and try to create a new account today on eBay, you know that it is very difficult because they want to get to know you first. They'll only allow you to list 10 items in the beginning. You'll go through a whole bunch of verification processes just so that they can make sure that you are who you say you are. And I'm not saying that drop shipping on eBay is a bad thing. It still works for thousands and thousands thousands of dropshippers, including me, but it is not easy to get started there today. And on Wix, it's simply much easier because no one really cares there how many items you list, as long as you ship them out, as long as your customers get their products, there won't be any problems. You won't get any chargebacks from your payment processor. Everything will run smoothly and you will withdraw profits to your bank account. So Wix has a minimal initial investment. As I explained, it does not cost any money to sign up. Only once you start doing things like connecting your own domain name, then you will start paying very, very, small monthly fees or yearly fees. But by the time you start making sales and profit, these small fees will be nothing and it'll be very easy for you to scale. So minimum initial investment, no selling limits, customizable websites, worldwide market reach because you have no limits. You can sell to anyone you want to around the world and scalability, which we will also talk about further in this video. Now let's talk about some of the cons because nothing is too good to be true, right? So on Wix, you have no organic traffic. This means that it doesn't matter how hard you worked on product research. It doesn't matter how professional your store looks and how you have everything aligned with your brand design and colors and so forth. All of the work that you put will not matter at all if you're not getting any traffic, if no one knows that your store exists. And this is different from other marketplaces like eBay and Facebook Marketplace that give you free organic traffic from the audience that they already whipped up for you. Here on Wix, there is no audience. You're simply being thrown out there on the internet and people need to know that your website exists. So this means that we actually have to spend money in order to be able to generate traffic and bring them to our stores. But don't let that scare you off. Online marketing is actually where it starts to get interesting. So we have no organic traffic. There's a lot of competition out there. And this is something that you're going to realize no matter where you're going to open a store. There's a lot of competition. But on the other hand, there are more products for you to sell and more niches and categories than there is competition. So once you put the right amount of work on product research, this will not turn into an issue. You have lots of products and you have lots of regions, lots of worldwide marketplaces that you can actually target that others are not doing. So once you learn how to navigate around the competition, this is definitely not a problem. The third one is there is a steep learning curve. Even if you don't have technical skills and you don't have coding skills, you can still create a website, but there is still a learning curve. But we're going to go over that also in this video, and I'll also show you more places where you can learn even more. And the fourth one is monthly subscription fees. There's nothing we can do about it. Once our store is up and running, once people will start buying things from our store, we'll also have to pay Wix a monthly subscription to be able to get more from their package. But with that package, we'll also be able to generate more sales and profit. So it is a cycle that keeps you profiting as long as you know what you are doing. Now, before we get into how to start dropshipping on Wix, and I'll show you how to do it from the start, as you see right here, we've got Wix.com, 
create a website you're proud of. All you need to do is click on get started, create your free account. But of course, we're going to get to that soon. And we've got AliExpress ready to learn how to deal with them, to learn how to conduct product research the right way with them, find the products to sell and import them easily to your stores. But before all of that, let's go over five AliExpress extensions for Wix dropshipping to use on your store. For those of you who don't know what an extension is, it's simply a tool installed in your Chrome browser that will help you gain more profits and save time while you're running your AliExpress to Wix dropshipping business. Starting with AliExpress free invoice. This is a neat little tool that will simply help you get invoice invoices for you or for your buyers on your purchases. So if your buyer asks for an invoice, this free invoice generator will be able to do that and create an invoice on every one of your orders. So once again, if your customers are asking for invoices, you can supply it with this free extension. Or if your accountant at the end of the month asks for invoices from AliExpress, once again, you can easily generate it from here. The second extension is AliSave. AliSave is a great extension that will simply help you download all of the images and videos that you have on the listing in AliExpress. And what I mean by that, let's go into one of these product listings. So we have this image and that is fine. We can import it to our store and I'll also show you how you can automate that import process. But if you scroll further down below, you'll notice all of these images too. And if you try to saving them, you'll see that AliExpress will save it all as one image and it won't split them up. And it could even save it as an HTML page instead of a JPEG. Either way, you're not going to get what you want and you won't be able to have all of these images separated between each image. And also if you have videos here, that also is not going to import automatically for you. So what this extension does is it simply saves all of those images and all of the videos that you have inside a listing so that you won't miss out on any image or video. The third extension that you want to work with is AliExpress search by image. And what this does is it simply helps you find a product on AliExpress that you found on another website. So for example, if I'm on Amazon or on Google and I see an image of a product and I'm wondering if AliExpress sells this product, this extension will allow me to create a search using that image on AliExpress and see which seller is selling this product. So we can easily find sources and sellers for products that we find around the internet and not just on AliExpress's website. The fourth great extension is called AliTools Shopping Assistant. This does multiple things. For example, it helps you analyze AliExpress sellers so you can see if you should be importing products from the seller. You also have a price history which helps you understand if the price here changes a lot, if it's a dynamic price, if it's a static price, so you'll know when is the right time to sell this product if it has dynamic pricing. It also helps you run an image search. It also helps you find similar items to the one that you are looking at right now. It also helps you find more sellers who are selling this product on AliExpress so that you will be able to get the best deal and make the most profit. And the fifth AliExpress extension that you should use when dropshipping on Wix is Easy AliExpress Video Finder. And this neat little extension will simply help you search for products on AliExpress but filter only the ones that have videos on them. So you can see from this screenshot right here how it works. And on your search field, you will be able to see those listings that have videos in them. And the reason that you want that, especially if you're dropshipping on places like Wix, is because you want to be able to show the customer what this product is, what problem it helps them solve, and why they actually need it. And with videos, you can get this effect much, much better than images would do. So you want to shoot for items that have videos. And if they don't have videos, you can even create a video on your own, simply order the product to your place and record a video on your own and have a video editor edit that video. You can do that easily on Fiverr from just five to $10. But that's if you know that the product is going to work for you. That's if you know, if you have proof that this product is selling for you and now you're looking to scale it. But in any case, what this extension is going to help you do is find listings before you have to enter them while you're still in the search field to understand if they have a video or not. And that will help you, of course, gain more sales. And you do want to import products, especially in the beginning, before you start making sales, you want to have videos on your products to be able to test better what will work and what doesn't, and then optimize as you go along. So that sums up the five AliExpress extensions that you want to have before you get started. So now that we have all of the basic information on Wix and on AliExpress, let's put them two together and see how we can start a successful dropshipping business, dropshipping from AliExpress, our supplier to Wix, our selling channel. Step number one, before we get started, we need to know what we are going to sell 
and this isn't going to be based on a hunch. This is based on actual research and actual data. So the way to conduct product research, there is more than one way, but I'm going to go over some of my most favorite methods that I'm still using up until this day. The first is the AliExpress dropshipping center. For those of you who don't know, AliExpress gives you this and it's completely free. All you have to do is register for an AliExpress account, which once again, of course, doesn't cost any money. And then you'll have access to the AliExpress dropshipping center. And with the AliExpress dropshipping center, you will simply have a platform where you can see what products are selling well, what products are trending really, really well, what's been working recently, what was working and stopped working, what is on a rising trend right now. Let me access the page really quick to show you what it looks like. Here is the AliExpress dropshipping center. Of course, you also have a link in the article below this video. So let's just take one of these product examples. Let's go with this one. So this is a wig. And as you can see, this product has perfect reviews. Maybe it's only 24, but the reviews are perfect. There's a lot of different variations and this wig seems to be rising in popularity. So I got to it from the AliExpress dropshipping center where I can see that it has 63 orders. The sales performance is good. The rating is very high. You can click on and Analyze to analyze the product even more to see its sales history. But at the end of the day, this gives you a lot of ideas of what products are trending right now. This is a great place to start off with. And when you are conducting product research, do use our product research dropshipping spreadsheet. Once again, you'll have a link to it right below this video. And in that product research dropshipping spreadsheet, you're simply going to fill in all of the information from the products that you found using the product research methods that I'm going over in this video. Here is the product research spreadsheet. So you fill in the product's information, you answer all of the questions and the ones that you have the answer to yes to all of them after you you fill in this product research spreadsheet that will help you narrow down the products with the highest potential to sell on your stores. I'm not going to get too much into it now, but use the spreadsheet to help you when you're researching for products, you find them and you add their information to the spreadsheet. The rest is self-explanatory. The second is the AutoDS product research tool. And this is a built-in tool. If you are an AutoDS member, you have free access to it. So all you have to do is up top on the left side, click on the dots, hover over product research, click on it. And here you will have a database filled with information from our system of all kinds of trending products from US suppliers, from Chinese suppliers. You can even look for holiday products if you have a holiday coming up and you wanna be able to prepare on time. New products, popular products, and so forth. Soon we're also gonna have private dropshipping suppliers inside the product research tool where you can actually work and connect with private wholesale suppliers who will add their products here and you will also be able to dropship them. And all of the products that you see here you can also use the Fulfilled by AutoDS solution to be able to automate the order processing, the tracking number updates, quick returns, and so much more. And lastly, you can easily import the products that you see here by hovering over import product. Of course, you have all of the products information. You can switch between the pictures to see more pictures of the product before you dive in inside. And of course, you can click on it to go inside the product details and get more information like the product's information, item specifications, the shipping policies, the return policies, reviews from other customers who bought this product, all of the different variations, its costs, what warehouses it ships from, and so much more. So this is another great method to be able to find products that will sell on your dropshipping stores. Now, of course, not every product is going to sell, but the more you test, the more results you'll get and the higher your success rate will be. And the last thing I want to say about this is once you find a product that sells for you, what you want to do is add more products that are like that product similar to it with maybe different features, different colors, different styles. But once you find something that works, you want to multiply your success by adding more products that are similar to that and maybe cross sell, add more accessories that are related to it. But of course, continue testing the market on the other side and see what other categories, what other products will sell for you and continue multiplying your success from there. The third place where you can conduct product research and find great products to sell on your store is simply by heading to AutoDS's blog page. Now, this is 100% free. You don't even have to be an AutoDS member to hover over resources on AutoDS.com and click on dropshipping blog. What you want to do once you're here is scroll down to product finding and bestsellers. Click on that. And here you'll see the best products to sell on your stores. Starting from an article that we published today, since right now it's July 13th, we're in the middle of the summer. So right now you've got the top 35 dropshipping summer products to sell in 2022. And as you can see here, we've got a long list of products. You can just click on one of them to see what it is, read information, 
information about it, then go to your supplier, in this case AliExpress, and start adding those products, like this outdoor electric mosquito zapper here, which is trending very, very high during the summertime especially. So the blog page is going to get you familiar with many, many potential products that you will be able to sell on your dropshipping stores. The fourth place where you're going to find great product ideas is our Sell These Now playlist. Once again, completely free, all knowledge, all for you. All you have to do is head over to youtube.com slash autods, click on playlists, and here navigate to our Sell These Now playlist. And this playlist is also updating all of the time, just like our blog page, with the newest and best products that you should be selling on your store. And as you see, the first video on this playlist is the top 10 products to sell in July, the month that we're at right now. So this is always updating all the time. It's constant and it has the best products for you to sell. And we go through everything. Who's selling this product? So you'll see the seller website you'll see where they're buying the product from you'll also see how much sales they're making by the amount of engagements that they're getting on the ads that they're running that we're also showing you in these videos so there's a lot of information a lot to learn and this is very relevant for you if you are dropshipping in places like wix once again all this information is out there it's all free for you to use just gain your knowledge and use that knowledge to start generating your own success story so those are my top four product research methods of course there are much more ways you can even use pay tools to help you find products to sell but all of these methods that i showed you do not cost you any money and you have so much knowledge to gain from them now the second step after you found your products you have your product list you filled up that product research dropshipping spreadsheet and you are ready with your products the next step is to create an account on aliexpress and also on wix so that you'll be able to start buying products from aliexpress once you get those sales unless of course you're using automatic orders which i'll talk about soon and a free account on wix just so that you can get started and customize your website so what I'm going to do now is simply sign into the account that I already have since I already created mine. But you will create your account right here. Once again, it's completely free to just create your account. I'm going to click on the login since I already have my account. And once you do that, you'll be redirected to your dashboard. Now your dashboard should be plain. And what you want to do on the top right is click on create new site. Now here you will need a step by step of how to create a new website on Wix. And in order for us to do that, I will leave a link to the full Wix dropshipping article guide which will take you step by step on how to create the store from scratch and what to do, what type of store to choose. And of course, you will have things that you're also learning here, like product research. And here you have it even more in depth, including the six criteria for choosing a good product and how to create a winning products list. And of course, we talk about dropshipping suppliers, not just AliExpress. But what's important here is that when you get to this section to step three, create a Wix dropshipping website, you are taken step by step on how to do it, including how to choose a professional template for your Wix store, how to customize your Wix store to make it complement the brand that you are trying to create, even if you don't have a brand idea yet how to connect a domain name so how to get your own domain how to connect it to Wix, how to set up your payment settings, because of course you need to be able to pay Wix somehow. You need to have your customers be able to pay you somehow for the products that they are purchasing. So you set up the payment options. Also how to set up Wix legal pages. And this is important. You want your about us, your terms of service, your shipping policies, your return policies, who we are, FAQs and all of that. And you're getting all of the templates that you need for free right here. So as you see, we have links to everything and you can simply take these templates like the privacy policy right here, copy it and paste it into your own Wix page and just changing the information in the bracket to make it match your own. So you're going to learn how to create your Wix store from scratch. I'm going to skip that part from this video just to make it not much longer than it needs to be. But let's get back to what we were talking about. So how to import products to our Wix stores. So once you create your Wix dropshipping website, after all the information that I showed you, after all of the information that I showed you on how to do it, you will be able to also add your Wix store to AutoDS. And you want to do that in order to import your products really quickly. Now, remember, you do not have to use automation tools. You can do everything manually and you can add products to your Wix store by simply going to your store and you'll be able to see all your stores on your dashboard. Of course, you can have multiple stores and multiple domain names. In this example, I'm going to go for this demo, this gadgets for everyone that I created. Then on the left side, you want to click on store products and then click on new product. Go to physical since it's a physical product. We're not selling services or anything virtual. And here you have to add all of the products information, all of the images, the videos, the products description. And of course, you want to create a very good looking product page, the product's price, create an on sale to create a slash price on a discount, how much you're profiting, how much it costs you, your profit margin. And that's assuming that the supplier and AliExpress will not change the prices, custom text fields, products options, product specifications, shipping options, and so much more. Now, 
it's okay to do this once. But if you do it multiple times per day and you want to have thousands of products in your store, this is going to consume pretty much all of your time. And you won't be able to invest your time in really growing your dropshipping business, your dropshipping store, making more stores. This will limit all of your time. So this is why I always use automation to help me with things like product importing, price and stock monitoring. So if the price has changed on my supplier's website or the stock status changes, it'll also change accordingly on my website without me needing to intervene. And also automatic orders. That's something that I really, really love, but we're also going to get to that soon. You can process orders manually and you can also do it automatically. Of course, anything that you turn to automatic will simply save you time and allow you to grow and scale your dropshipping business. So in this case, this is the manual method. Method. And of course, there is the automatic method. So for the automatic method, of course, you need to sign into AutoDS. You can simply head over to AutoDS.com and start your trial right up here. Once you create your account, you'll be able to connect your Wix store. So you're going to do that on AutoDS on the top left side. You're going to click on add store on the top left, click on add store, click on Wix. Then you'll be redirected to the Wix app market. You want to click add to site, then select the site that you want to add to AutoDS. So if you only have one website, you'll only have one option. And if you have multiple sites, multiple websites on Wix, you'll see all of the options here. So I'm going to go with gadgets for everyone, click add to site, and then you'll automatically be redirected back to the AutoDS platform with the Wix store inside. Okay, so here on the left side, I'm gonna click on the stores again, scroll down, and I'll see my Wix site right here. Of course, you can rename your store to whatever you want. So in this case, it's a gadget store, so I'll just make sure it has the right name on AutoDS. And now I wanna start adding products and save a lot of time doing so. Now there are multiple product import methods. You can import single products, you can import multiple products, you can import CSV files, which you can export really easily using the AutoDS Chrome extension. And this is if you already found a niche that you wanna sell. So for example, if you know that hair wigs are selling really well for you, then you want to search for that on AliExpress. And on the search results page, you're simply going to click on the AutoDS icon right here, click on extract, and all the 60 products that I have in this page got extracted into the CSV. Then we're going to export it as a CSV file. So all the 60 products that we have on this page got extracted into this little extension. Then I'm going to click on export a CSV. A CSV file was created and downloaded onto my computer. I'm going to head back to the AutoDS platform, click on multiple products, click on upload CSV, and drag and drop that CSV file right here, or just navigate to it from my browser window, processing CSV, and file is uploaded. The supplier source in this case is AliExpress, the region is China, then we're going to click on add as a draft. And then all of the drafts for all of those 60 products will end up on the draft section of AutoDS, where you can optimize the product's title, description, item specifications, the variations, the store collections, the automation settings, and everything else. So here's where you can optimize all of the products. And as you see here, we have lots of variations and you can also add more variations from other suppliers, even from different regions. So you can really have a unique product page that no other seller has. And once again, all of the images, you can even click on edit to open up an advanced image editor and really play around with the image, add text, add effects and so forth and item specifications. So everything is already automated for you. You can add things, you can optimize things, you can edit, you can remove. But once you have this type of automation and it takes a matter of seconds to import thousands of products, hundreds of products. It doesn't matter what the number is. You can add all of them to your store in just a matter of seconds. So that is great. And that's going to save you the amount of time that you'll need so that you can invest it in actually growing and making more profits, which is what you are here to do. But let's show the quick way. You're right at the start. You want to start easy. You want to start slow and you want to take it step by step. So let's just go with one product. Let's go with this wig right here. I'm going to just copy the products URL. I'm going to head back to AutoDS, click on add products and go with a single product. Then I will paste the URL right here. Make sure that the supplier source and the region is correct. You can publish it directly to your store without even optimizing it or click on edit now quick. Give the system a few seconds to grab all of the details from the supplier's website and add it to AutoDS with all of the variations and everything else. And then you can start to optimize that product and add it to your store once you're done. So those are just two ways to import products to your store. We have more than two ways. So you can see whatever works the best for you and use the best method that will save you the most amount of time and will optimize your product in the best way possible. Now, after you import products to your store, you're finally going to have a store that looks good. You went through the whole step by step on how to create a good looking store. You got all of your legal pages up and running. You've got your store template. Everything finally looks good. Now it's finally time to start making some sales. And that is where online marketing comes into play. This is where you have to learn how to market your store, how to market your products and how to get your products in front of the right audience. Now for that, you have multiple methods, including 
PPC ads, which is pay-per-click ads, which works very, very well once you're able to optimize your campaigns. And you can run PPC ads on Facebook, on Google, on YouTube. And we have a free ebook for you where you can learn how to do that, where you can learn how to create a campaign from A to Z and learn how to target your audience. We also have an audience research spreadsheet that will help you learn how to target the right audiences for the products that you have on the products research spreadsheet. So it all actually complements one another. And this structure will give you the best way to market your products and create successful Facebook campaigns, no matter what selling channel you're using and no matter what supplier you're using. And if you go to our blog article below, click on the PPC link, you will get taken straight to our ebook where you can have it 100% for free. You don't need to be a member or anything. You simply download your ebook, learn how to run PPC ads. Here's what it looks like. I'm going to unlock it, leave my name and my email address, click on get your free book. And here you will have the step by step. Now, not only is this going to teach you everything that you need to know and take you step by step and also shows you a live case study of the campaign that I ran on my store and the results that I got and how you can do it even better. We also have a video on this on our YouTube channel. So if you're the type that likes to watch, you can also watch it on our YouTube channel. So learn from this. You have 116 pages of PPC knowledge and how to do it the right way. There's also influencer marketing. So you can use influencer marketing platforms to hire influencers to give a shout out to your product. Influencers that have the right audience that are fit for your niche. And you're going to learn all about that in our influencer marketing article or the video embedded inside. Go with whatever is good for you, but learn this method too. And you should try multiple methods and see what works best for your store. That is always the best way to find success. We also have email marketing and you can only do this once you have a large email database of people who left their emails on your Wix website so that they can continue to learn more and stay updated on all kinds of things that you have going on on your website. So you want to be able to lure your customer inside your website and leave their email address where they can enjoy discounts, where they can enjoy high quality blog articles around your niche. And blog articles is also a great way to get free organic traffic once you get that ball rolling, which is the next step, content marketing. But email marketing is really important and it's what gives you a type of ownership over these customers. If you're selling on other platforms like eBay or Facebook Marketplace, you're never going to get the customer's email addresses because the big bosses are saving it for themselves. But here the customer is yours. And once you send out email campaigns, email promotions with a few thousand subscribers, you're going to get some sales from there too. You're going to get sales conversions and you'll always be able to retarget and get more and more sales from a hot audience that is already proven to work for you that already showed an interest in your product. Now, I'm still going to give you some tips on AliExpress, so do not worry, but bear with me here and continue with the process. So up until now, we learned how to conduct product research. We signed up for our Wix stores. We learned how to create our Wix stores and how to create a great looking website using our full guide on that. And then we learned how to import products to our stores, the products that we found using our product research methods and showcase our products to our target audiences. Now, inevitably, after a few trial and errors, you're going to start making sales. And the reason that I'm saying trial and errors is because nothing works out smoothly and perfectly, especially when creating a new business. But if you follow these steps, if you commit, and if you learn how to test, 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 especially when it comes to product research, you will start to see success right out the window, coming closer and closer. And once you do grab it, once you do get a good hold of what products you want to sell, what products are selling well to your target audiences, it all actually becomes really easy, fun, and addicting. But the work to get there exists and you're going to have to work hard and differentiate yourself from what everyone else is doing in order to make it. And believe me, there is more than enough room for you to enter and many more after you. So as I said, now we're starting to make sales. And now we need to actually fulfill our orders, go to our supplier's website, purchase the product, and ship it directly to our customers. Now on AliExpress, it's very self-explanatory. You want to go to that product page that's sold for you, add it to your cart, choose the right shipping and delivery service, which in this case, you see seven day delivery from AliExpress to a US audience, most likely because this product is coming from the US. And as you see here, from the US to US using USPS. So yeah. So like I said, AliExpress has warehouses around the world. And if you're targeting the US audience, this is a good product to drop ship to them from and to the US with fast shipping, as I explained in the beginning of this video. So what you're going to do is once again, add it to your cart, check out and ship it directly to your end customer. Ask the seller not to provide any invoices, any receipts on the product. Simply send them a message after you order the product. Tell them that you are drop shipping this product and they will completely understand. They are looking for drop shippers like you and I to work with them and resell their products. Now, this is all great. 
But once you start hitting 5 orders per day, 10 orders per day, 15, 20 and up, you will spend all day or most of the time of your day, most of your energies, fulfilling your orders one by one. And what happens once you make a humanly mistake? What happens when you ship it to the wrong place? When you mix between two different orders, that's gonna start costing you a lot of money on top of the time that it cost you already. So this is a great time to join order automation. And what this means is every order that comes in goes out automatically. You don't have to do anything. It happens while you travel, while you sleep, while you're away from the computer. An order comes in, it gets fulfilled by the system automatically using one of two methods of your choice, either using your buyer account and your payment information on AliExpress or using the system's buyer accounts. And then all you have to do is top up your managed balance so that the system can pay for your orders. And of course have auto order credits. Each one costs a few cents and that is pretty much it. Your customers are going to get their orders really, really quickly. Tracking information is going to be uploaded automatically and you'll enjoy easy one-click returns. For more information on that, check out Fulfilled by AutoDS and check out automatic orders if you want to use your own buyer accounts. We have all of that and more on our website. Now, step number six is learning how to provide customer service. And this comes in now because we're making our sales and every now and then there's not much we can do about it. A customer will want to return a product and that is completely fine. It should make up from anywhere between one to two to maybe 3% of our orders. And once again, it is a part of any business that sells physical products. So when this happens, you want to be able to provide the best customer service that you are able to provide. And that is because you want to have repeat customers. You don't want to give anyone a hard time, even if the customer is wrong. And if they are, show them your policy, show them why they are wrong, but still try to reason with them, even if it'll cost you a few bucks, just so that there'll be another happy and satisfied customer. At the end of the day, buyers refer other buyers, they refer their family and friends, and they also return to purchase from your store. And this is great for the long run and the long-term survivability of your e-commerce business. So provide great customer service. And whenever there's a problem, if a certain seller is costing you problems, then that is a great time to look for another seller or another supplier to work with. And step number seven is to enjoy dropshipping automation because this is the real way for you to scale. As I mentioned before, Price monitoring and stock monitoring happens automatically. So if the price changes on your supplier's website, it'll also change on your store automatically. Same thing for the stock status. If it goes out of stock on your supplier's website, it'll also go out of stock on your Wix store. So you won't be selling items that are out of stock and you won't be selling items that their price change, the price increase, and now you're going to lose money on that order. You'll also enjoy the quick product importing, which I showed you. You'll enjoy automatic orders. You'll enjoy easy customer service and a VA management system, virtual assistants that you can hire and they can have control over specific things that you give them control over, like only adding products, only processing orders, only handling customer service or everything at once. And they will also help grow your business. Now, there are many more reasons why you want to automate your dropshipping business. But at the end of the day, you want to scale you want to make it to the big numbers, this is the way to do it. Now, let's go back to AliExpress really quick because I have a few more tips to give here. We already talked about the best extensions to use, but you also want to learn how to analyze sellers the right way. So you research some products, now you're looking for them on AliExpress. And let's say, for example, you want to go for this high quality natural black mirror right here. So the first thing that you want to do is actually analyze the seller and see if he is a good one. Ali Tools, one of the extensions that I talked about, will help you analyze the seller, but let's say you're not using any tools. You have the seller's information right up here. So you want to hover over the seller's information and see who they are. So this guy has been here. This seller has been here since February 20, 2022, which is just a couple of months. It's not enough time. I usually go for sellers who have been on the platform for at least one whole year because I want to make sure that they have a good run rate. People are ordering from them and these sellers are not causing any problems. So let's go to another seller. I'm going to search for headphones. Okay, let's say, of course, you did your product research and now you're looking for sellers who can sell the products that you found. Okay, so let's go for these earbuds right here and hover over this seller. This guy's been here since May 27, 2021, with, which is just over a year. But on the other hand, his seller ratings are just below average. It doesn't mean that it's a bad thing, but you may get some slow shipping here the communication, but the time it takes him to answer you back may take some time. And the item descriptions may be good, but maybe also not so accurate. So, and this is a part of the product research phase. It's not just finding the products, but it's finding a good seller that won't cause you any problems. Now, that doesn't mean that this specific seller will. This one is really in the middle there, but usually I go for higher quality. Let's go back to our search and click on the stars right here. I only want products that have good reviews. Okay, and let's go for these sunglasses right here and hover over the seller. 
Now this seller has been active for over a year and he is above average for the item as described communication and shipping speed. So if I'm looking to sell these sunglasses, this seller would be a seller that I would import the product from. So that's the first thing that I do before I import a product from AliExpress. Now, when you make a sell, and this is a product that I wouldn't sell, by the way, because it's got Lenovo's logo on it, and this is a computer company, so I can tell that that product is a knockoff, and that's another thing that you want to look out for. So you cannot sell products that are knockoffs, you cannot sell products that are copyrighted, you cannot sell products that are Vero. Vero stands for Verified Owner's Rights. But on the other hand, if you're going to use AutoDS, then you have a layer of protection. If you add a product that you are not allowed to resell, you will get an error message saying, hey, this product is not allowed to be resold because the manufacturer is Lenovo or Microsoft or Samsung or Apple or so forth. Then you'll have a choice whether you want to continue with the import process or block that product out and continue with the rest of the products. Sometimes you can sell an accessory for Samsung, which is fine because Samsung is not the manufacturer here. But if it is by Samsung, if it is by Apple, or if it is a knockoff from them, then you do not want to sell them. And once again, you have that extra layer of protection. Let's search for one last product dog bowl once again on the search i'm only going to look for those that have four stars and up i don't care about the free shipping because even if shipping costs money AutoDS knows how to take the shipping price and add it to the source price while keeping your configured profit so you will always offer free shipping to your buyers even if you are not offering it yourself now besides that you want to make sure that the sellers have good communication because you want to be able to provide good customer service to your buyers that means that you're going to have to get an equal amount of great customer service from your suppliers so here for example what you would do with this seller for example pet dropship store he's got some great statistics check it out this guy has been here for five years and he's above average on everything so this is a seller that you do want to work with and another thing i already started saying another thing that you want to do is once an item starts to sell let's say this dog bowl started to sell for you so of course the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have all of its different variations all of its different sizes and colors and also add more similar dog bowls from other sellers another thing that you want to do once a product starts to sell is go to that seller go to his store so here for example i'm going to hover over him click on visit store and add all of the products that this seller has to offer. Why? Because he already solved a problem for you. He already gave you a product or you already took a product from him that was proven to sell. So this seller knows how to sell products that are in demand and you want to be able to test more products and see what else is going to sell for you. So here I clicked on visit store and I can see all of the products that he has for sale and I'm going to add all of them to my store using the quick import process that I already showed you and it's no problem on Wix since you have no selling limits. So feel free and go crazy. Okay, guys, this video went on for almost an hour long, way longer than I intended. Please let me know if I missed out on any important information that you need to know to be able to successfully drop ship from AliExpress to Wix. Leave a comment below this video and of course I will answer you. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that are coming out in the world of dropshipping and how to build, scale, and manage your dropshipping empire. Like and share this video if you appreciate the value. Thank you for watching and good luck dropshipping from AliExpress to Wix.